there guys, it's Sokka here, and we're back on the Warriors of the Slime server for another episode of Sokka Plays Minecraft SMP. This episode 12, I'm pretty sure. Sweet, we seem to be keeping a touch wood, decent frame rate. Um, this is about the 10th time I've started recording this episode, and between, yeah, just, my frame rate just drops down to like 10 FPS after a minute of recording. Um, so, where was I? Oh yeah. It's been about three weeks since the last episode, sorry about the break, but I've had exams and university and psh, so... I've been playing a bit of Minecraft, I don't know if you can tell from the glowstone everywhere. And it's all shiny and bright down here now. I think there was just that in here and then the rest was just lit by torches at the end of the last episode. And also, I've been down here. This is the station, I think I showed you in the creative world in the last episode. And the track comes along here, you should press a button, shoot off, blah blah. But, yeah. I've dug a tunnel from my village all the way to my pyramid. And this is it. It's taken our absolute ton of wood. As you can tell. <laughs> and I'm barely even anywhere. And in my creative world, I sort of expected this, and so... After a while I sort of faded it into just rocky tunnel, like my mine shaft over my pyramid, if you, any of you guys remember that. Um, but other than that, I've not really done anything on Minecraft. Oh! I have done something. And something is something we'll go take a look at before we do anything else, because it's really cool. The end on this server broke. What was wrong was, I'm pretty sure because the way the server was running and stuff it was using a old version of the server jar so whenever you're in the end the client received or interpreted whatever it was a client slash client no that's not the warp let me talk first whatever the client received was not the right end and so it was all in the wrong places and there was water everywhere, it was an absolute disaster. But, it took me until like tearing apart the end and rebuilding it pretty much, like four times and still no nothing changing to work out that that was all the problem was. And I even loaded it up in single player and messed around a bit and I did some stuff. A month's fix in the end, which is one thing which is done. Um, I also finished off the Ender Ender at long last. It doesn't look terrible anymore. You've got nice sounds down just Oh look, now there's two wings to it, so just one. And look at it, it's, oh, it's so beautiful. Load, load, you stupid thing. There we go. It's really beautiful. <laughs> and so down here we've got wheat farm for when you're punching Endermen to so much that you're starving. Two under chests, because overkill. Niceness. Um, and then up here is the Enderman. Oh, this Ender Ender now also has the ability to shh, put a lever on this piece of wall here. And turn off the Ender Ender. I retract these glowstones so that the Enderman just die. Anyway, let's go up the ladder, the newly new and improved maintenance ladder. You can see the nice pattern which I have here. And let's see if we can... Oh, God. Let's not see if we can sneak. We'll just take a look up at the top. Because now there's a little maintenance room so you can look inside the end and uh, The efficiency of it is drops significantly if you come and stand in here while you wait because, of course, you're near to the spawning pad so half of them don't get spawned on. Yeah, look at look how nice it is. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, words. This the inside of the under ender. I'm sure that I've told you how it works before, but if not, then here's a little lesson in how the under ender works. Probably gonna kill myself. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay. I don't know how that's happened. 
<laughs> um. How have they got up here? They can't spawn on half slabs, right? And they can't spawn on stairs. Maybe they can spawn on upside down stairs. That'll explain those guys. Don't know about that guy though. Well, maybe they can teleport up here since this bomb. Bastards. Um, yeah, anyway, they spawn, and the only place they can spawn, theoretically, is on these pressure plates. When they, st when they spawn, they stood on a pressure plate, so it pushes out, and there's pistons behind this dark wood. And that pushes them down this hole. Du -du 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 -du. And they come all the way down here. All the way down here. So they hit these vines, and then the vines stop them, and then they drop out the bottom of the vines and drop down 40 something, I think it's 43, or four, I think it's 44 in fact, blocks, land on the glowstone, take damage down to half a heart, that's amazing. Oh wow, you can even see the, the end island, I didn't know this. It's probably built in a bad place then if the end island is still loaded. <laughs> um, So yeah, this is the end render. It's very nice now. It's like this mine cart in there. Okay, we'll just walk back to the tunnel. So, what we're going to do today is something a little bit different than episodes of digging out a big hole and filling it with wood and stone. We're going to make a minecart track. We're going to start with some power. No, we're not going to start with some power. Drive. Super pick is super. Um, we're gonna put a dip here, and then like this. I did this in the creative world, and it's in the last episode. I'm pretty sure. So, if you're confused as to what I'm doing, take a look. <laughs> awesome. I think this is how it went. Yeah, it must be because it comes up, and then yeah, 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 yeah. So now, when you push this button off you go. So we'll add... Screw it, let's add some more power there. And then track, 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 track. And then what I'm going to do is, every one of these, put power rail. So we'll start here. Power rail, track, track. And power rail. And I'll go ahead and finish off this, and then I'll see you guys in a second. Hello again guys, I'm back. I finished off adding powered rail down to the hole in the wall that you can see down there. So let's test it out. It looks to be working pretty well. Kinda wish it was a bit faster but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> I wish minecart boosters were still in the game. I really miss them. I have a single player world with a, like, 2,000 block long minecart track that runs on minecart boosters. So since 1.7 or whichever one it was, which stopped them from working, it's just been totally useless and never played the world again. I could have converted it all to power rails, but that's just so much effort. Anyway. Now what we're going to do is the fun part. We're going to make a system such that we can press a button here and a minecart will appear here. If this server was running on snapshots and therefore not a bucket server but yeah if we this was 1.5 or a snapshot this would be easy we just put a dispenser under it and power the dispenser and a dispenser under here and power the dispenser but it's not so we're gonna have to make an old-fashioned Pez dispenser thing so I'm going to go ahead and dig down here. So what we're going to need is, the glowstone is a transparent block, is the way this trick's going to work. So, okay, I don't know what happened. The glowstone is a transparent block, so we can put the track there, and the minecart will do this. That was very underwhelming, wasn't it? <laughs> Last time I tried this, the minecart will go through the glowstone. It might be because of the other side is pre-blocked, so... Let's 
mess up this dirt. We're just going to need a load of space, so let's just clear it out. Let's just clear it out. Um, so what have I been doing while I've not been here, while I'm clearing out a space? Um, I've been doing coursework. I've been... I've not been doing coursework. That's just a lie. That's just a big lie. Sorry for lying to you guys. Um, while I've been not recording video, what actually have I been doing? <laughs> um, I'm not doing anything particularly memorable. I've had exams, I guess. Oh, oh, I know what I've done. I know what I've done. I know some things. It's okay. I've got some stories now. Um, I've had exams. They were depressing. I guess. Some of them went okay. <laughs> Some of them went okay. Others of them went... We're just not talking about them. <laughs> just don't want to talk about it. Exactly. It sounds like not good things. There we go. The minecart goes up through there. And if you give it enough power, then it will come and stop inside that. If, can we push it back through? Why won't it push back through? That's really weird. Maybe you have to go at the glowstone at an angle like that. Yeah, that would kind of make sense, because Minecraft logic. Um, so, yeah, I had exams. They went alright. Not magnificently, but not absolutely terribly. And, yeah, on the whole, they were pretty good. And, um, there was just one or two that were horrific. And so, I was pretty busy for the first two weeks. The first video I recorded, I think I might have said, the last video I recorded even, I think I might have said it in the video, was halfway through my exams. Um, but at that point only one of them had gone terribly. Um, and so yeah, that's where I've been mostly. And then the last week and a half, I've been in university, not really though, because I've only had like one lecture a day ma maximum. Mainly I've just been being really lazy and not recording Minecraft videos. I've played some Lord of the Rings. I want to say Total War, but that's just not what it is. I've played some Lord of the Rings, Lego Lord of the Rings, and I recorded some of that, but the footage was terrible and I ran out of hard drive space so I only got half the session and yeah, yeah it's not good. So it's not getting uploaded at any time. Um, what are we doing? We're building a Pez dispenser. Oh, my S key on my keyboard is broken. It's driving me insane. Let's drop down another level. And then we'll have plenty of space to work with. Do we want to build a Pez dispenser? I suppose we could do some fancy red stuff. Um? Okay, so... I'm thinking I want to build a Pez dispenser, but then the more I think about it, the more I think... But that means I need a cart return system. But I kind of want this to be a proper station, so we are actually going to make a pest dispenser. I'm not just going to be lazy. Um, don't agree with that. So I'm going to keep clearing out some space and keep talking about life. So my exams didn't go great. Exams would be exams. Um, what else have I done other than exams? I went to see many films. Like, my friend has a Orange Wednesdays, which is two for one tickets if you're not from the UK. Two for one cinema tickets every Wednesday. Yay, there's light. Um, and so, every Wednesday we tend to go to the cinema and see whichever film looks good. And we've seen... What film did we see the first week? I've probably talked about it. If I didn't talk about it, tell me and I'll remember it. But, at the moment, I'll just pretend I talked about it and forget about it. What was it? It must have been good, because we've not seen a single bad film this semester. Um. Oh, Jack Reacher. That's what we saw. Jack Reacher was pretty good. It's Tom Cruise's film. Phone's going off. I'll be with you in a sec. I'm back. 
I've forgotten what it was. Oh, anyway, we were talking about Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher. How was it? It was pretty good. Tom Cruise new film, I think. Pretty sure that is the exact words I said. I mean, somewhere. Um. It was pretty good, but it got kind of got overshadowed because the next week we saw Gangster Squad, and oh my god, uh, just wow. <laughs> Need some freaking stone as well. Um, just, just wow. Wow is the only word to describe Gangster Squad. Almost as much wow as the fact that its score on Rotten Tomatoes is like 33 or something last time I looked. It was just the best film I've seen in a very long time. It was incredible. Until, yeah. Um, it was a really good film. If you don't know what it's about, it's about gangsters. Mickey Cohen was a gangster in America. And it's about a squad of policemen who bring him down. It's really good. And that's why I said bring him down. Try to bring him down. Yeah. It's, it's sad part. But it's it's an amazing film. If you go into it expecting a film with shooting and violence and explosions and fun stuff then that's what you get if you're going to expect in some crime drama like all the reviewers on like Ron Tomatoes and stuff seem to have done then, then you're going to be in for a pretty bad experience because cause it's really not that um, but it's really good I would recommend seeing Gangster Squad what else would I recommend seeing um, I know the, the, the film we saw last week which would be Django Unchained. Well, again, Django Unchained was a really good film. Um, it's Tarantino's latest film. If you like Tarantino, see it. It's just really good. Um, if you don't like Tarantino, see it anyway. <laughs> um, it was a really good film. And, but none of them, although maybe Gangster Squad, it's a different kind of film. Les Miserables, like, I know it's a musical and stuff, and, and, yeah, so someone knows exactly what I'm saying, um, it's a musical, so, I, I kind of wish I'd seen it as a musical first, but I don't know, I'm just going to see it as a musical anyway after, so, doesn't matter, right, um, but it's so good, it's so good, I've never cried a film before, but tears were shed. Tears were shed. It's just amazing. <laughs> um. Okay, where are we with this pet dispenser? We're here. The bottom of it. So, we're gonna have our track come out up here somewhere. I've forgotten how to make pest dispensers. We need a piston. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we need a piston. <laughs> um. Yeah, see lemmas. It's just the story of the day. See lemmas. It's amazing. <laughs> do we have the materials for a piston? And today we saw another film. Don't ask me what it was. <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. Um, today, I put my freaking wood away. I'm. Oh crap! I wonder if I've got wood upstairs. Um, today we saw Zero Dark Thirty, which is a film about the killing of Osama bin Laden. Oof. It's holy shit. Um. It's an intense film. Let's put it that way. It's intense. Hot to be hurt to watch a little bit, but it was not hurt in a bad way. Oh, there's a minecart here. Not hurt in a bad way particularly, it was just... Oh man, so heavy. Um, It was really good. I would recommend seeing that as well, maybe. I'd see other films before it, like... I don't want steaks, do I? No. 
<laughs> like they miss. Um, but if you feel like seeing a film, can't go wrong with Zero Dark Thirty. I'm making cobblestone. Um, what else? What else is there? What else have I been up to? I did some more stuff. I think I probably talked about this. No, I definitely didn't talk about this. this phone going off. <laughs> I hear a spider. I'm gonna suck it. Cause he ain't getting me. Um. Yeah, I did more work on Township last week. And I made it so that one second. Hello guys, we're back. Um, this channel's been turning to just soccer reviews films. Let's get out my fortune pick. For the fortune that is cobblestone. Um, I repaired all my tools as well, I'm going to say. There was a way. I might have cheated a little bit. <laughs> when I was trying to fix the end. I generated a new end. And it seems pretty uncorrupted. So, I fought the end dragon and, you know, yeah, that, that stuff happened. So I got like a hundred levels of XP or something crazy. So, okay, I've got cobble, let's go downstairs and do what we need to do. Um, so yeah, I fought the end dragon and got things, got levels of experience. Spent them all on fixing all my tools up, along with some grinding. And went mining and found loads of iron and diamonds and fun things. Fun talk, talk, talk over. Okay, Pez Dispenser, let's do this. I'm going to have a drink. Shut up. <laughs> um, how does this game work? It works by having a sticky piston. Okay, let's go to the pyramid, I'll see you guys there. Hello again guys, we're at the pyramid. Sticky piston, seven. All the wood is here as well. Oh, oh. Space palm everyone. Okay, okay. Don't, don't cry, Sokka, don't cry. Let's do this. Let's dispense the time, right? Got all the iron. Um, what was the real thing I wanted to look at? All the look at all the coal. <laughs> um, let's see. There's nothing new anywhere else. The only new bit is to the side, I think. Can't think of anything new down here. Apart from work on my mind down there. Yeah, if you've not seen this farm yet, I can't remember one if I've shown this farm. I probably have, because I'm quite proud of it. You turn the lights off, the wheat pops off, you know, the usual. Um, this is going to be a carrot and potato farm, but I've not got around to planting carrots or potatoes in it, or doing the roof. That's the job I need to do. The nether's through there. Do they have a... There is a room behind it. I'm going to build a room behind that, and I don't know what I'm going to put in that room, but I'm going to put something in there. Um, yeah. Main event now. Let's go make a Pez dispenser. Or we might end up making a Pez dispenser next episode. And this episode's just been talking. <laughs> so yeah, this is the tunnel at this end. The station's pretty grim. Because I don't have any sand. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Don't have any sand or sandstone or anything of use for building in the pyramid area. So village for a while. Also I need to think, if I'm not going to just turn it into a small stony tunnel like this, which I don't really want to do because it's really cramped, I might open it out a little bit and make it, I'll show you my mind shaft at some point, it's in a previous video, I should have done it just then, but open, make it like a bit more natural looking, like a natural cave and make it like that, I could do that, but I don't know, who knows what will end up, there's a huge ass ravine under there. Um, what we will do... I can't even think what I'm saying. I was going to say something. 
yeah, I think what we'll do is make it like a natural looking cave and slowly blend it in and then blend it out into sandstone and dark wood at the other end. Which was the plan, I think. I think it looked quite cool. Oh, this looks really cool as well. I don't know how well you, be, you guys will be able to see this, but I love how it looks in Moody Light. It looks so cool. It's like a zebra, but it looks really cool. <laughs> So cool, love it. Anyway, put it in something which is actually visible. So, if there's anyone out there watching this video who doesn't know what a Pez dispenser works like, it's time to see me try and MacGyver a Pez dispenser. Um, because I also don't have a clue what a Pez dispenser works like. Pretty sure we have this guy here, this guy here, and then. Let's just grab a torch and put him here. And then, as far as I'm aware, hold on, we need to get a book up. We have like stone here. Let's get. You have like your track. So our track's here. Do we want to drop minecarts here? Oh, I wonder. Yeah, that's a good plan. We should do that. Um, change of pet dispenser plan. Maybe you do this. <laughs> With the rail, maybe? I'm not sure. We should probably test out one or the other. Does this even work? No. That's not what you do. <laughs> Ignore what I said. That was a lie. I lied to you again. Um, so we're going to have this here. That's again a lie. No, it's not. Minecart's here. Powered rail is there. Block is there. Minecart's are there. To get the minecart there, we need a track up here. So, let's get... Um, sorry for the French. No. Great. This game's so broken. Um, so let's smash up that a bit. Let's tell you what, let's make a staircase up. Okay, that was the longest ever way to get up here. So what we're going to want is a track up here. As for the, I've not made a Pez dispenser for a long time. But as far as I can remember, we're going to want a track on here. Like this. So then we can put our minecarts on here like this. Down they go. Along with those apparently. And then we power the piston and up goes the minecart. Sweet. What we're also gonna do is use a half slab. Because that's what you do. I've just remembered. I was going to eat some chicken. That was what I was actually going to say. Before I remembered to use half slabs for these things. Because I thought it would further down the line. What we're going to do now is we're going to go make some minecarts because we've just made our pest dispenser. What we'll do is we'll link it all in in the next episode. Which should be tomorrow. Maybe. What day is it tomorrow? Tomorrow, for you guys, it's probably Friday. For me, it's Thursday. So, tomorrow night, after I've been in university, doing my final year project, no, be a good minecart now. I will probably record another episode. Okay, we need to get up to our staircase. Um, another episode in which we'll link this Pez dispenser system properly in. So... Let's just see if it works again. Get down there, you. You've not worked. Great. Fuck. Okay, so apparently I've lost the ability to push minecarts down into the Pez dispenser. <laughs> um, come on, guy. Poor performance. Okay. 
Don't know why suddenly they've stopped working. Okay, I'm gonna kill them. Where's the other one? There he is. Let's go make some half slaps quickly. I'm sleepy. It's like I don't know if you can tell, but it's quite late. It's not massively late. It's not like my usual time late, but it's when you're planning on being in university at like nine o'clock in the morning. It's pretty late. <laughs> Get rid of that guy. Oh, I've got my fortune picker. I've got cobblestone. I don't want cobblestone. Um, switch hands to the good stone. Right, damn guy. Now you have no excuse. This is how pest defenses work. I just know it is. Because now, we power the piston, in one goes, away it goes. One grey goose, and away it goes. Then, unpower the piston, the other one's still there. This minecart goes back up and round. Da 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 da. Onto the top of the pest dispenser. This is really old. Minecraft redstone if you don't answer this then you suck. <laughs> and then go away damn guy. Yeah, you can stay there. Stay there. Good my car. <coughs> then power it again. And away goes the second one. Sweet. So that works, it's good to know. We will connect this up in the next episode, and I'm going to go to sleep. <sighs> I would like to thank you guys for watching, and I'm sorry for being sleepy and yeah, I'm just untalkative. But in the next episode, we're going to link up this Pez dispenser. We're going to... Hmm, depends how long that takes. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.